As the sun rises at Bandy Creek Harbour in Esperance, a shark research team is already hard at work. Concrete pylons are loaded aboard and fitted with acoustic receivers. For our community, really exciting project, uh, really moving towards understanding a bit more about shark movements in the Esperance Bay. This looks spot on somewhere around here. The receivers are dropped into Esperance Bay, beginning a two-year surveillance operation on the state's most feared predator. The recorders will register any tagged white shark swimming past. It's just sort of the beginning, I guess, of us being able to learn a bit more about shark movements and hopefully one day help us develop better mitigation strategies uh, to help keep us our beaches safer. Mitchell Capelli hopes the research will make beaches safer. He founded a support group in the wake of the fatal attack on Letitia Brewer in 2017 at a local beach called Kelp Beds. I didn't surf at Kelp Beds for a long time and I know a lot of people still don't surf there because of what's been happening. It just seems to be a hot spot at certain times of the year, especially coming into spring now. We just had our first shark swim through here on Tuesday for the month. The group has pushed for the project because it believes learning about shark behaviour will be more beneficial than culling sharks. It was a hot topic for a long time and everyone was like, what do we do, what do we do, we've got to cull, we've got to, you know, we can't cull. And I'm just like, hey, it's got to be about that middle ground. But it's not just the region's surfers at risk. Sharks have also been spotted at the town's most popular swimming beaches. While that's never kept 69-year-old Kath Donovan out of the water, she believes others are becoming increasingly scared. Beautiful beaches down here, but as soon as the shark message comes up, it, there's nobody in there. So I think it's um, that people don't understand sharks and their movements. But it's now hoped when data from the acoustic receivers is collected in a year, it will arm beachgoers with information to keep them safe in the water. Emily Smith, ABC News, Esperance.